this is the first day of our Mysteries of the Sea Week. So we have a bunch of cool projects planned, but we're going to start off with an undersea treasure drawing. Um, and we've done a little bit of one point perspective before, if you've taken my class, but this will be a, a good review of it. Um, we're going to start off with a treasure chest. So let me switch to my other camera and we'll go ahead and get started. All right. Oh, hi, Dylan. Okay. All right. So here we go. So, all right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your ruler and eh, about halfway down with a, with a really light pencil. So make sure when you're drawing, you're drawing really lightly for everything because a lot of the lines when you are doing um, perspective, when you're doing something that is in perspective, you erase. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with a line across the middle of my page. And picking one side, I'm going to pick my, I'm going to, I'm going to do this side. I'm going to go ahead and make a dot. That dot is going to be our vanishing point. And the line that we've just drawn is going to be the floor of the ocean. So normally when we draw a picture, this is like the, the land and it's like the horizon line, but our horizon today is going to be, our entire picture is going to be under underwater. So this line is actually um, going to be the, the, the ocean floor. And that point is going to be our vanishing point. So I want my treasure chest to be pretty big and in the kind of in the middle of my paper. So how I'm going to do it is I'm going to start with a, a pretty big rectangle. So on, I'm doing it below the line so that it's going to be resting on the floor of the, of the ocean. So I'm starting with a rectangle. Now I'm going to use my ruler to help me draw my rectangle just because I want my, uh, I want my treasure chest to look a little more realistic. So I'm just drawing in a rectangle with my ruler. Just a regular old rectangle. I'm doing a, a long rectangle, not a tall rectangle, because I'm doing it, I'm going to be, it's going to be a treasure chest. Okay. So you guys have to let me know if I'm going too fast. I know I have a tendency to work pretty quick. So I can always slow down or repeat steps if you need me to, to repeat anything. Okay. So when you're doing perspective, we use this vanishing point to help us get our box in perspective. Hi, Nissy. We are making a, an under ocean uh, picture today. It's going to be, we're making a, tr uh, it's going to be a, a sunken treasure. So pirate treasure under the ocean. And I'm doing a demo and you can do yours like mine, or if you want to choose to do yours totally different, it's totally, it's up, completely up to you. But I am going to show you guys a little bit of how to do something, a shape that is in perspective using that vanishing point. So the corners, the two sides that are closest to that vanishing point, I'm going to connect using my ruler. And once again, I'm going to, I'm going to draw some light lines and I keep them light because I'm going to be erasing part of them. So I'm doing one, do the other corner right here, two. And then I'm also going to do this far corner over here. And this line is going to be almost straight because it's really close to this, um, to this horizon line or to this, this the, our sea floor. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways because we're going to need it. So three. So I connected three lines. I would connect this one, but you won't see it because it's behind all the others. See how if I drew this fourth corner up to there, you wouldn't see any of it because our box is going to be in front. Right now my box kind of looks like it's shooting off back into the distance forever and ever. And I don't want that, so I'm going to shorten it. So I'm going to take my, my um, ruler and I'm going to draw a vertical line, maybe about here, to uh, make my box like stop, to give my box a dimension. And on that point, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to add a vertical line. So, or excuse me, I'm going to add a horizontal line across like this to add the top of the box. Just like that. Okay. And I can take my eraser and I can erase any of those lines that were shooting off in the distance that I didn't, that I don't need on my paper anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and erase these. These lines have a fancy name. They're called orthogonal lines. But you don't really need to know that. It's just that they have a fancy name. 
So here's my box, start, the start of my treasure chest. But every good treasure chest does need a lid. So once again, if I'm going too fast, you have to let me know because I can slow down. I can redraw things on the side if you need me to, okay? Hi, Dylan, what is, what is thar? <laughs> is that a pirate word? Uh, what is that? What is this? This is going to be a treasure chest. This is going to be a treasure chest. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add the lid and the lid is gonna be coming up and over my um, horizon line. So I'm gonna do a diagonal line coming up from the top of the box like this. So diagonal line kind of coming up like this, but then watch this part. Really carefully, I'm just scooting my ruler over, trying to keep that same angle. Adding another line to the other corner. You can already see the lid that's starting to take form on the top of this, of this box, of this treasure chest. You can connect the top of the lid like this. Erase any little mistakes like that. I can erase so that horizon line behind it is now invisible because this, this lid is in front of it. So I can erase that line. There we go. If I want to make my lid look extra fancy, like if it has like, you know how, tre how treasure chests sometimes have like a curved lid to them, I can add in like a curved line here. It's gonna be part of my lid. And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add an extra like line up top here. It's gonna be like the edge of my treasure chest. Like this. Maybe I'll have it come down like this. It's like the rim of the treasure chest, like that. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Mm, I'll give you another line here. Yes. There we go. So there's my treasure chest lid. Let me fix up a little bit. Make it a little bit wider. Mommy! Mommy, help me! You keep switching. Oh, sorry, Isaac. Is it is it, is it better now? Oh, okay, thanks. Sorry, sorry about that, Isaac. Yeah, I, th I think it got, it got, usually we do pin it. I think we just got a little, just making this, this uh, lid a little cur more curved. Yeah, that's annoying when it keeps switching when you just want like want it to be on one drawing. Okay, so there's my lid. But I want to fancy this treasure chest up a little bit. So maybe I want to give it, you know how sometimes treasure chests have um, like planks or like wood pieces around? So I'm just going to actually, I'm going to give it like a, a wood plank that's going to kind of go around the edge. So I'm going to do a line, a horizontal line across like this. And like I said, you can choose to do it like I'm doing it. You can choose to do it you're totally your own way. If I'm gonna add those, this plank, if, so this piece of wood that's going around my treasure chest, if I want it to continue around this box, then I have to use that horizon line or that, her, that vanishing point. So I'm just matching up this corner with that vanishing point. I'm putting these things in line and I'm gonna connect from here to there, just like that. I actually don't, I don't have to continue it all the way to over because I know, I know that it, it's gonna end right there. So I'm, I, I don't wanna save myself the erasing. So I'm just gonna line it up and draw it in like that. Leah, Maybe I, I wanna, mm -hmm. Sorry, I think Kat might have a question. Hi Kat, what's up? So, um. One, I don't actually have an eraser, and I was wondering if I use a straight book, would that work too? Totally. Sometimes when I don't have a ruler, I just use like a, a side of a piece of, of paper, or I use like the edge of like a, of a book or something. That's perfect. Uh, okay. If you don't have an eraser, ooh, that's a tricky one. Um, 
just, uh, I mean, it's all just practice. So just draw, draw it in and like, um, maybe you can find an eraser sometime after class or because there I are going to be. Say that again, Kat, Kat. I also have another question. Uh huh. Go ahead. Um, could you repeat the past two steps for me? I had to find a pencil. Do you want me to do the past two, the two steps? You mean for like this and this? Mm, sure. Okay, so, so while I'm doing that for everybody, if you wanna add in any, like I'm gonna add in like, these are like the studs or like the nails that are going into the chest to like nail it all together. You can add some other details, like you can add in like, like these are maybe like the, the hinges on the, um, Maybe these are hinges on your, on your lock or on your, on your chest. Maybe you add in the lock. I don't know what that's gonna, maybe that's like, looks like that maybe, I don't know. It can look kind of fancy. So you can add in some details. So for Kat, all I did was if here is my horizon line, here's my box, here's my vanishing point. I've connected it all. This is going to be a really quick sketch. Okay. I made a mistake. Forgot to end it. Okay, so here's my box. Cat. So all I did was I took my I took my ruler and I just added in some vertical some horizontal lines to give it like those um, planks on the bottom. And then I added in some diagonal lines and I just matched the corners up with that point like this. And I went, ooh, one, one, oop, two, just like that. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go back and add in some more details. I'm adding in like the little bolts. They're connecting. These are like the nails that are connecting the like this piece of plank or like the, I guess there's like some metal studs. I don't know. It's kind of what I imagine a treasure chest to look. It looks pretty like fancy. Maybe I add in like the key, like the keyhole. So I'm just adding in some like black or some dark marks where maybe where the key goes in. Maybe this isn't round. Maybe this is like, I don't like the shape. Maybe this just kind of curves around. Like that. Okay. All right. Maybe I think maybe I want some more planks to go. Maybe I, this whole thing is made out of wood. So I could add in some more lines across to give it that wood effect. Like that. If I want to continue them on the sides, I got to make sure I'm staying in line with that vanishing point over there. Like that. Like that. One more like that. Kind of like that. So now I get to add what's inside of the chest. So that's T entirely up to you guys what's inside of your treasure chest so maybe I want I was thinking about this before class and I, I think that I would I think I would like a um, like a uh, like a sword coming out so maybe there's like the hilt of a sword that's coming out up here so I'll draw that in so like like this 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 uh, my treasure chest has definitely been opened and things are things are coming out of it <laughs> So, but like I said, your, your treasure chest is yours to decide. So you could put in whatever you want. Maybe you want to add in just gold doubloons. Maybe you want to add in like jewels. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna, definitely gonna add in a sword though. So I'm just drawing like the hilt of the sword. Maybe it comes out like this, around like that. Maybe there's like a, decorative part to this sword. Do the hilt, hilt of the sword. 
kind of come across like that. And I'll clean, I'll erase and clean up everything later. You can always use your ruler if you want straight lines. Or if you don't care, just kind of sketch them in. Sketch in what you want. The sword part needs to be a little thicker. And I want to erase. You want to make sure to erase. So whatever you're drawing on top, you want to make sure to erase like the lines below it so that it doesn't look like it's um, so that it doesn't look like, you know, there's the horizon line behind it. Got to erase those things. Maybe this is the edge of the sword, like that's a sharp point. Um, there's a request to go slower, please. Sure. Is there any, Kate, is there anything you want me to repeat and draw again? Is there anything you missed? Just saying no. Okay, all right. I'm just adding in my sword. And spending some time on the details. I mean, your sword can look totally different than mine. Maybe like the hilt of your sword has uh, Maybe the hilt of your sword has um, um, like jewels on it, or I don't know, maybe it curves differently. Curve, it needs to be a curve, I think. Okay, so there's, there's a sword coming up. I think the inside of mine, oh, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have um, uh, some jewels dangling down. So maybe this is like a pearl necklace it's coming out. So I'm just doing it with lots of little circles. It's like dangling down. So I have a jewel necklace coming out. Maybe um, mm, I'm gonna draw in some, I want some coins for sure. So I'm gonna add in some, some coins piling, um, coming out of the pile. So these are all my, all my gold doubloons. I wonder where the word doubloon came from. <laughs> you only ever hear doubloon in reference to like pirate treasure, right? Maybe sitting on top of this pile, there's like a crown of some sort. Maybe this, this, this uh, whoever this pirate was, they robbed a, uh, or he or she robbed a king. I'm just like, literally, I'm just going through and adding in, using my imagination, adding in some treasure. Maybe, so in the background, maybe I want to add in, um, maybe I want to add in some rocks. So maybe there's like some rocks that this, this, this treasure is sitting on top of. So on my horizon line, I'm going to erase a little bit of it. I'm just going to like, because my horizon, maybe this isn't totally flat. Maybe there's some like rocks or some like hilly bits. So instead of it being perfectly straight, Adding in some some rock rocky forms. Can it be in the ocean? Say that again. Can it be in the ocean? It is in the ocean. This is this picture is going to be entirely in the ocean. So up here, I'm actually going to draw in some sea creatures. So maybe I draw a sea turtle. Maybe I draw in totally. It's totally. It's inside the ocean. That's exactly what I'm doing. So I. I think over here, I was inspired by the, like there was an inspiration picture on the page that I found. And I think over here, I'm gonna add in, um, I'm gonna add in a skull. So like maybe there's like a, uh, like a, a pirate that didn't make it. 
So for a skull, a skull shape, when I'm always, oh, sorry. I see my, what's my favorite sea animal? Oh, I always like sea turtles. I'm a fan of sea turtles. I just think they're really like majestic. I also think that um, jellyfish are really beautiful. I just don't like them in real life. <laughs> I think I think jellyfish are gorgeous, but they're. Uh, if I saw one while I was swimming, I would probably get out of the water really fast. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a skull over here. So how I do a skull is it's like a. I start with like a round shape on the top, kind of like this. So this is gonna be the top of the cranium where the brain goes. And then I'm gonna add in the, the, the eye sockets. So the parts where the eyes come out. So, and your cheekbones. So it's kind of a curved line in, and then it kind of comes out like this on both sides. So it starts with a, a curve. And it comes out like that. And that's kind of where your eye sockets are gonna be. So in fact, we can just go ahead and add in some big circles here. That's where your eyeballs go in. And if I want, I can shade them in a little bit. I always shade them kind of like I'm doing a sphere where like one side or one corner is a little darker. I can, I can also draw like a kind of a triangle shape here, the line through it. That's going to be where my nose, like the, the part of your nose is. Your nose is all cartilage, so that's just pretty much just a hole back here where your nose kind of goes in. And then I'm going to curve these cheekbones in a little bit more. And I'm going to start here. I'm going to add in the jaw. So this is the jawbone. It's going to come down. This is kind of where the chin is. And I need to add in some teeth. So for teeth, I there's no uh, no gums. So I'm just doing like little curve lines for the teeth up like that. With the top teeth, and then the curve for the ones at the bottom. There's a little skull. Super simple little skull. And then maybe there's some, um, ooh, there's some treasure that's fallen out of here. So maybe there's like a, a goblet, I'm gonna do a goblet, like an Indiana Jones style goblet that's fallen. Maybe it's over here, it's on its side. Goblet fell out, there's the stem of the goblet. Base. the inside, shade the inside in a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, because it's under the ocean, maybe I wanna start adding in, I could add in like, a, maybe over here there's like a little starfish. Little, little starfish. Maybe there's also some, oh, some, oh, some like sea, seagrass, some seaweed growing over here. Maybe it's like, maybe there's coral, you can add in some coral. You could add in some of the stuff that's on the, um, some of like the ocean life that's up, that's uh, it's swimming around. Maybe there's some fish that are swimming. Maybe there's some um, dolphins. I don't know. It's totally up to you guys. Oh, I'll do some jellyfish. And then I, I'd love to see what you guys have so far. Well, I'm just keeping mine real simple. But does anybody want to show me what they've got so far? I'm totally curious. How's I everybody? See Kat's hand up. Yeah, Kat, let's see. So I was thinking mm -hmm. I don't have like all the tiny little details that I had to catch up. That's okay. This so Ooh. far. I'm Ooh. Gonna make the animal. I'm gonna make Scott the animal. You're gonna do what? <laughs> I'm gonna make like sea horses with Scott's face on the top. Okay, I do it. I love it. I can't wait to see. <laughs> Great idea. 
if there are light ob objects in the chest, would they float in the water? Um, good question. Uh, yes, they would. They wouldn't have sunk down to the bottom of the ocean. That's true, Megan, if there was something light. Um, depending on how deep or how shallow your water is, like if you're, if you're in really shallow water, you could even add in like, this could be the water line. <laughs> and you could have stuff floating. So say there's like a, a bottle over here with a message in it. <laughs> like, like <laughs> this is my, my message in a bottle. Like you could definitely have stuff floating, but you just have to add in, like depending on, like it depends on where where they are to like to to know where they would be floating. Like if it's really if it's really light, they'd be up at the top of the uh, up at the top. If they're, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not sure. That's a science experiment in itself as to what will float. All the things are in here are made of metal and like. Like even pearls and jewels are pretty solid and heavy, so they would they would sink to the ground, for sure. Sophia would like to share. Sophia, let's see. So, I have skull here, and then I'm working on a diamond on Ooh. the top, gold underneath the treasure chest. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that idea. Yeah, some jewels, some like rubies and, and diamonds and, and other, other assorted, assorted uh, like jewels and treasure. I love it. Yeah. If I, if it was, if I could carry it, I, I'm sure I would take it home. <laughs> you would take the jewel home? So would I. Yeah. That's awesome. If you want to... Um, if you want to make your picture stand out a little bit more, you could always take a Sharpie and go over it. Um, you could always add color. It's totally up to you. It depends on how like cartoonish you want it to be. It depends on how many details you want to add. Like if I was do if I was doing a thick Sharpie, I probably I probably wouldn't do a thick Sharpie because I have so many tiny details in here. I'd probably use like a, a micron pen or like a, a, a fine line Sharpie because I have so many small details. Um, but it's totally up to you what you want to do with your picture. So maybe I want to add in some, I want to add in some more sea creatures. Maybe I add in, I'm going to add in a, maybe this is like a, a uh, what should I call it? <laughs> a, uh, not a sea urchin, a uh, sand dollar. There's a sand dollar over here. But yeah, you could add in some coral. Add in whatever. These pictures are totally up to you. Hmm. Maybe I want to add in some more like coins that have fallen. If I want to get real fancy with the coins, I can make them 3D too by like adding in the edge of the coin. Kate has her hand up. Kate. Whoa, that's awesome. Oh wait, did you add a pirate? A pirate like like uh, like a like uh, what? Yeah, what's it called? Like the the pirate flag on the outside. Jolly that's Roger. Awesome. The jo thank you. That's what I was trying to think of. Thank you, Scott. The Jolly Roger on the outside. That's awesome. Oh, one one detail I didn't even mention. Maybe like there's parts of part of a sunken ship in the background of your picture. I don't know. Is there like a like maybe the like did did this treasure come off of a ship that was stolen? So maybe there's like a pirate ship in the background. I don't know. That would be a cool thing to add. Thank you. I couldn't remember the word pirate Jolly Roger. <laughs> yeah. Here's Judy. Oh, let's see, Judy. Mute. Um, Lee, could do you have room in yours to draw us uh, uh, one of those little seahorses? Mine just isn't coming out well. Sure, I, I can try. I can try my hand at it. A seahorse. Yeah. Sure. 
One Mine second. looks like a sea eel. <laughs> a sea eel. Well, I, you know, it could just be an eel. Thank you. No problem. Okay. So for a seahorse, um, I'm going to draw him. Maybe there's room right over here. So there's kind of like, I think I would start with his head shape. So I think the head shape would kind of, I would maybe do like a circle like this. And they have like these like tubular like almost circular little suction cuppy things on the ends of their nose. <laughs> I think that's how they suck up water. But for the for the seahorse, you kind of want to nail that curve. So it's like a, a curve down. This is, a, this is gonna be a really big seahorse. <laughs> and then a curve under. So it's kind of like, um, uh, what is that shape? I don't know, I don't know what you call that shape, but it's a double curve. A double curve in just like that and then for the belly the belly's curving out so they've got these kind of like wide bellies but then it curves back in for the neck they got these kind of like elegant that's why they're the, the horse shape heads so they curve back in for the head so kind of like that and then you can get fancy you can add in some like the belly shape could have like Curved lines on it like that. Add in their eye. You can add. I think some of the some of the seahorses have like almost like little spine, like dinosaur spiny kind of things on the outside, like that. Hopefully that helps. It's my, it's my really basic seahorse. Curve the tail in. And then, and it depends on what kind of seahorse they like. Sometimes they even have like these like spines that curve all the way around their bodies, kind of like on their belly. And then it curves up like that. I don't think I nailed the face shape right. It's not horse like enough. I need to like me in a little bit more kind of like that yeah there we go so the trick to the seahorse is really this first curve it's the curves out and in and back out and around and then oh there's even like uh i forgot there some of them have like these like tails so if you want to add in like they have these little fan shaped tails that come out like this and then a little little fan shaped tail like that. Hmm. Yeah, seahorses are really interesting. Interesting characters. Creatures. That was a good that was a good call. I have I uh, I wouldn't have thought <clears throat> thought of a seahorse. Beatrice would like to share. Beatrice, let's see. Ooh. Oh, wait, hold on, hold it, hold it up a little straighter so that I can see. Oh, I see that it's an awesome treasure chest with the gold inside. Tell me what's, tell me, can you, uh, is your, is your sound working? Can you tell me about it? So this, I watched it from Pokemon. I mean, not Pokemon, like Sonic. Uh-huh. It out. And then I tried to put an emerald, but it didn't. Ooh, it. emerald! That's awesome. Ooh, so what's on the bottom? Tell me, tell me what what's the blue thing? I can't. It's a little. Tell me about that. The dolphin is stuck on the neck. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! What's next to the dolphin? The mermaid. Oh, oh, good call. Good call. Adding a mermaid. Trying to help the dolphin and the turtle. That's awesome. Oh, is the turtle also trying to help them? And that poor dolphin. Little, uh, Wait, what's, tell me, what's that? This, what they do. <laughs> this looks great. What, what an awesome picture. This is a baby dolphin looking for the mommy dolphin. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I really hope that dolphin gets rescued. I really, really hope he gets rescued. 
You think the mermaid will save him? Okay. <laughs> oh. And then I made a little bottle and a little island. Oh, ooh, an island. That's a good call. That's a really good call. I love it. I love this. Uh, I love this picture. What an awesome, uh, what's some awesome, de the awesome de details that you added. You, you've had a lot of good, of good uh, things to add. Oh, that's so smart. So the key is like down on the ground somewhere. That's so smart. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Really, really good work. I just saw Lily's comment. Hi, Lily. Yeah, we, we are doing a drawing above a, um, uh, an undersea treasure. So we drew a treasure chest, and then we are adding details to make our treasure chest like underwater. So because it's pirate treasure that has sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Couple mm -hmm. people with hands up. Cat yeah, first. Let's see. let's see, guys. All right. So I'm not finished because I don't have very many sea animals. I only have two. I've got two stock animals. I'm trying to zoom in on one. Oh. Wait, is that who is on that? Is that Scott on the on the crew? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I have to do it from memory because this video's off. <laughs> uh, well, I think I think you're in luck. I think on uh, is that a Scott? Is that also on a Scott? <laughs> Thursday at Ben's class. Yeah, so Thursday at Ben's class, it's Scott Palooza. I think you're just drawing Scott all day. <laughs> yes, I know. Sounds terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love this. I love this plan. I think I'm going to try to join that class, Scott. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Kat. Here's Liliana and Heather Rose. Well, let's see, girls. How are your drawings going? Here's mine. Ooh. Oh, wow. Tell me, what's in that treasure chest? What, what are some of the things that you've list drawn in there? Uh, jewels and, and swords and stuff. Ooh. And... Show me again. Let me see. Ooh, I like the, the curling um, seaweed that you've got on the ground on the bottom. What did you draw up in the, in the ocean? Is there anything swimming around? Oh, I see it now. You have to get a little closer. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I see. The, is that an, a fish or an eel? Uh, well, I, I had some imaginary characters in there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like, I see some like kind of sharp teethed fish. These are some scary fish, man. They're like the, um, the, what were they, barracuda? No, I guess they were just the eels from like the Little Mermaid. Plus, I always found the eels really scary. <laughs> yeah, because there's like two of them and they always like do the same thing. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Wow. Oh my gosh, that scythe, like it's buried in the sand. That's amazing. I love it. And the conch shells that you added, those are some really, really good details. Oh, I love it. Really, really nice. And the crown that you added, oh my gosh, I love it. What an amazing, like, curved, fabric y crown. Very cool. Very, Thank very you. cool drawing. I love it. Thanks for sharing. Is there anybody else who wants to share their drawing so far? Here's Kian. Hi, okay, Kian, let's see. Ooh, what's inside that treasure chest? Oh my gosh, is that a pirate trying to get the treasure? No, um, it's a dead pirate that, that the sword is stuck in his hand and his, um, and his foot is, and his other foot is on the ground. Oh no, oh no. So he got stabbed by the sword when he, when he was trying to take it out of the, of the box, of the yeah. treasure chest. And oh, you did the Jolly Roger too. Ooh, what skull is that on the bottom? Is that like a... These are, these are like bonds underground. Oh, oh, that's smart. Underground, very interesting. They're like dinosaur bones buried underneath the ocean. 
Yeah. And is that a cave? Did you add in some caves? Yeah, it's a water cave. Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. You should have something living in that cave. You should, oh, you should add some eyeballs. Erase two little spots and put two little eyes peering out of that cave. <laughs> I love it. What a cool drawing. I like, I love all the details you guys are coming up with. Is there anybody else who would like to uh, share? Yeah. Hi. There's Nissy. Hi, Nissy. Oh, you're, it's so dark. I couldn't see it. It was you. Oh, Hi, Nissy. Sorry. Okay, so I do. Ooh, Nissy, whoa. Oh, nice handles on your treasure chest. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Tell me, tell me about it. What are some of these details? Okay, so this is um, the Atlantic, you know, the Atlantic, the okay. video. Okay, so this is the trident that belongs there, and the pirates stole it, and okay. then they stole the uh them clean or change crown and um this is a new type of sea species i guess okay um uh, i guess it was like an ex they said it was extinct like so i made this up but um let's say they said it was extinct but then they found that it wasn't whoa and um uh, they tried to capture it but they couldn't so they um, so it stays by their treasure because it wants to steal it. Oh, that's and, cool. My weird looking skull. Um, <laughs> that's okay. Everybody's skull is a little different. Ooh, oh yeah. I love that. I love that you did a trident instead of a sword. I love that detail. Thank you. Yeah, and I also like that crown that's coming up. Very, very cool. Very cool. Nice. Nice drawing. Thank you. All right. Is there anybody else who wants to share? Here's Max. Let's see. Hey. Hello. Uh, one second. Max. My eye here. Okay. Uh, here we go. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Oh, what a good uh, octopus. Wait, so what's inside? Is that a burger and a fr and french fries and a hamburger and it's like a soda that's inside of the treasure chest? Indeed. <laughs> hey, everybody's got to have a different treasure, right? And okay. oh my gosh, is that is that a shark that's coming up from behind yeah. the treasure chest? <laughs> I love it. I love that the inside that treasure chest is just fast food. <laughs> That's really funny. That's a really, really funny uh, treasure. <laughs> cool, cool concept. I, uh, yeah, I love, I love that you took it your own way. Very nice. <laughs> let's see, is there? Here's Megan. Else? Yeah, hey Megan, let's see. Whoa, you, la you labeled it treasure. <laughs> I like, I like the lettering on the, on the treasure. Thank you. Actually, oh. my ruler had weird little letters, so I used it. <laughs> oh, very cool. It, it's not done yet, but that's what I got so far. Okay, I like the sea turtle looks really, really good, too. I like, Thank uh, you. he's a cute little sea turtle. Thank All you. Right. Yeah, is there anybody else who wants to share what they've got so far? Here's Lizzie. Hi, Lizzie. I kind of joined late, but this is what I got in so far. Oh, nice. Oh, you, despite joining late, you seem to have caught right up. You did a nice job on the treasure chest, considering, like, especially considering you didn't like see anybody seeing see us draw it. Really nice. What's inside of it? I see a sword. I see yeah, maybe gold. Coin and stuff. I'm gonna <laughs> add more stuff to it, but I'm gonna do that later. Awesome. And what's what is that? Is that uh, what's a what's mermaid. in the? Um, oh, it is a mermaid. That's what I thought. Oh, I can see her now. Yeah, if you bring her closer. Nice. Oh, and I like that you added the latch on the top of the, um, of the trunk case. We didn't even talk about that, but that's a nice detail to add. Very cool. Very, very cool. Nice drawing. Thank you. Yeah. There's Cat. Hi, Cat. So, I finished. Let's see, Cat. Ooh. And Cat. I put my signature and I always do a cat. So I put a oh, that's awesome. I Very cool. Cat, did you ever find an eraser? I had one. You do? Oh, oh, awesome. One tip, one tip. So on uh, your, I love your drawing. It looks amazing. 
you just right now the 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 lid right here on see on mine right here the lid of your um of your uh treasure chest looks like it's see-through you got to erase that horizon line that's behind it <laughs> that way you won't have a see-through lid <laughs> all right cool up awesome. next is isaac okay oh yeah isaac let's see Hey there. Hey. Great. So once you started talking about putting stuff into the chest, then I decided to take it a little bit differently. Whoa. I, um, I immediately thought of Finding Nemo. <laughs> oh yes, from the um, when he's in the uh, in the uh, the tank. Yep. <laughs> And there's the treasure chest, and it says "Do not open," and it opens, and there's all the bubbles that come up. That's amazing. I love it. I love it. I love that you took it in a totally different direction. I think that's awesome. Very creative. Very creative idea. Very cool. Um, uh, anybody else? We have a, a few more minutes. Hi, Kate. You want to? You want to share? All right. Let's see, Kate. I got some. Ooh, bring it a little bit closer. Oh, that's awesome. What a good mermaid. And the skulls. Oh, very, very cool. I, oh, is that a pirate ship? The, 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 oh, and the Titanic. I see that it's the corner of the Titanic in, up there. <laughs> very clever. Very, very clever. I love it. I, this is an awesome, awesome drawing. Very, very cool details. I love this drawing because people can take it just in any direction. Caden, are you trying to share? Let's see, Caden. Ooh, bring it closer, Caden. There we go. Just not, it's a, from, not from pirates, from the Navy. Oh, it's a naval treasure. So what's in it? Lots of letters, some gold, some, some salt, a precious jewel. Uh, a gun and a sword that's right into it. Ooh, I like the ooh the texture on that. So what's what is it made out of? Is it made out of like steel or like like metal, like bolted yeah. together? It's made out of steel bolted together. Yeah, I like the texture on that chest. That's a really cool thing. What's what's in the uh, what's behind it? Oh, it's a pirate and navy. Oh, oh, I see. Bring it a little closer. Sorry, you're still too, a little too far away. <laughs> I can't see the details. There, I, now I can see it. Awesome. Oh, so cool. I see, now I see the sunken ship. Oh, that's so cool. Maybe, should you do a submarine? Is there like a submarine like up in the sky? Or like up in the water? Like, no, like searching it out? It's, it's so deep. Oh, it's so deep. Okay. So no submarine goes that deep. Okay. In the deep zone. <laughs> There's no sunlight can go. So in the Marianas Trench. No. Actually, it's way deeper than that. that then no creature can ever survive because the creature oh. is so immense. So wait, are there some deep sea, like uh, really super deep sea fish down there? Like the bioluminescent ones? Nope. It's no? It can get crushed and can move. But these chests of far and the parachutes are made out of steel, which cannot, which have, which have, cannot be crushed by that pressure. Yeah. It's not made out of wood. All of them is made out of steel and stuff. Whoa. The parachute is made out of steel, not wood. Huh. And the, like, but the sails are, but the flag still survived for some reason. But the sails <laughs> are all torn up and then. Stopped into rocks. Maybe it's a recent shipwreck. Maybe it hasn't been underwater for that long. Nope, it's been underwater for millions of years. And wow. No one has ever found a key to this treasure chest. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool, Kaden. So maybe it's like from the the lost city of Atlantis or something. Like from like an. Yes, that lost for millions of years, and no one has ever found it. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks for sharing. Is there any to Liliana and Heather Rose? Liliana Heather Rose, let's see. Let's add some more details. Yeah. Ooh, bring it, bring it super close. Yeah. Where? 
Oh, well, what is that? That a skull or like a creature on the bottom? I did like that uh, there are other creatures pursue, try, try, that tried to pursue this fox and then got And they didn't make it? They were foiled? Whoa. They, I like all these like creepy skull characters that are on the, on the ground down there. Very cool. This picture is getting creepier and creepier. <laughs> Every detail you add. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Nice job. Let's see. Ooh, what, what did you add? I see. Oh, wait. This little dragon sculpture wasn't oh, there. Now I see it. Oh, I my added God. words to the box. I have to get really close. Hold on. Let me bring my computer closer. Whoa, now I see. Oh, I like that they, they're, you kind of erase them so they're faded, right? Uh-huh. Oh, that's a, that's a cool detail. I have a skull buried in the sand. Oh, neat. Really neat. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love these details. I love you these. You couldn't tell last time I showed this was the key. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Now that you get really close. I, I, I heard that you drew it. I couldn't really see it because it wasn't close enough. But, yeah. Oh, that's a good little detail. So cool. Really, really cool. I also like like your how you did the edges of the of the box of your of your treasure chest. Like so you did them so they're kind of wavy, which is exactly how a treasure chest might look. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah. I had to yeah, I had to bring my computer here. I'm gonna switch oops, switch to my other camera so that I can Get, get super close. <laughs> Is there anybody else who wants to share? We have about five minutes left. No? All right. I want to share, but it's almost done. Oh, okay. Well, we, you can do a share in just a minute. Okay, like you have, you have, you have four minutes left. <laughs> okay, I'll switch back, to my, switch back to this camera then. So maybe like... You guys, I, I love seeing your drawings because you guys always give me ideas for mine. I think that like, like Heather Rose had some really cool, like, cor I love how she did the corners of her. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm taking, taking a page from your book and I'm gonna add in these, like the corners are all wavy, like kind of how they would actually look like on a chest. Love it. I love I love I love getting ideas from you guys. I've had some more in mind. Oh yeah, let's see. If I can. Let's see, Max. <laughs> wow, is that a is that a uh, you have like a scuba diver down there? <laughs> it's like a really old school seventies like scuba diving suit. Is like, that Captain know. Jack in the corner? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> he's, he's just like his head's just like poking out from the corner. <laughs> I love this drawing. It's so funny. And you added color to the shark that's coming out. <laughs> yeah. I I love that he's like old school 70s um it almost like almost space suitish uh like like uh like scuba diving gear. <laughs> It looks like, um, oh, the movie, like The Life Aquatic. I feel like they would have, like, gear like that. <laughs> yeah. It looks really, really cool. And you, do you add, you add a little crab on the bottom. Yep, Mr. Crab. Yeah, yeah uh, Mr. Crabs, yeah. Bob, totally. Patrick and Sandy I've got down there. Oh, you, oh, yeah, now I see them all. <laughs> really funny details. Really, really funny. I love it. Oh. Like I said, I love I love where you guys took this. So I made I took my a, little, a step farther. So there's a giant emerald the pirate had when he sunk his ship broke and all that stuff. Uh huh. His and his sword broke, and so his coins broke. So his coins oh. fell out. Oh my gosh. So and then the legend says the pirate's ghost still roams. Roams around the treasure every day to scare away anybody who tries to take it. Oh my gosh! That, wait, there's like a, there's a curse upon this let this treasure. Oh yeah, there's a curse. Whoa. Anybody who goes there will get cursed by the ghost. 
<laughs> and they'll die. So there's like an underwater. So is it, is the is it the ghost of a person, or is it like the ghost of like a sea creature? It's the ghost of the pirate who died. Oh, okay. Sea. All right. Gotcha. Ghost. Anybody who tries to take a treasure will be cursed by him and then die underwater. Oh my gosh, that's creepy. So don't try to take that treasure. And then what? their ghost will explode. The ghost will explode if that happens? No. If anybody tries to take the treasure, they'll <laughs> die. And then their go the ghost of that person who tried to take the treasure will explode. Oh my gosh. Very, very Pirates of the Caribbean. I, I like it. I like this drawing. Nice. Ghost curse. Don't ever <laughs> go underwater and take that treasure. Yeah, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thanks for sharing, Soren. You're welcome. You're oh, wait. Here. I had another detail to share. Okay, real quick, Soren. So I think. Oh, no, hold on. We'll summarize some right you, Sophie, in a second. Twice. So anybody who, who escapes the curse. Uh huh. It's attacked by the pizza sword, which is this giant emerald. Whoa! Literally, because nobody can basically escape the curse. Even if they like get out of water, they'll just die. And suddenly, somehow, go just teleport underwater and then die. Whoa! That's a creepy detail. <laughs> All right. Thanks for sharing, Soren. All right, Sophia, you're up. So I added in. Some coral and some seaweed, and there's a skull in here. Nice, very nice. And I added a an emerald here, and there's a a chunk of gold. Ooh, like a golden bar. Maybe there. Ooh, you should add them. Add some color so that you can tell they're rubies and emeralds. That looks awesome. Very cool. I like this extra skull details. All right, last call for anybody who wants to share their, their final final drawings. Kaden. Do you want to share? Bye. Oh, bye, Soren. All right. Bye. Sorry about this, uh, this thing. Very quick. A long time ago, when the war was fought and the ship saved, there was a flower in the north and someone caught it. And the legend says, do not disturb the treasure or else the other person will die. In 1901, the disciples went down to the One man had to touch the treasure by itself. In the blink of the other person's eyes, the other diver disappeared. But then, in another blink, the uh, other pirates, the other, the other, our school, divers in school appear. Oh. As their souls are lost in the shipwreck in a dungeon forever. Then later, and then they can order fruits that is set up. So when he was getting in short press, Mark, so he wrote a book. Then he sat down in the book. Next day, he was dead. Oh my goodness. That's a creepy story. Creepy story, Caden. But I like that you, I like that you came up with an entire backstory for your drawing. <laughs> oh, Lily says that's so cool. <laughs> All right. Um, last call. Last call for anybody who wants to share. Oh, I see. Yes. I added more stuff like a mermaid. Another, I added another mermaid. Ooh. Then, like, a little crack. And then, oh, yeah. Like, half buried crown down there. I see it. Oh. And that. Oh, little sea lions. A little picture of Scott. You know, stuck in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scott, you're half buried in the sand over there. <laughs> a of portrait of you. That's, a, that's an amazing detail. <laughs> I love it. I love. I love what that these details. What that's so funny. Very cool. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. <laughs> um, my brother had something he wanted to share. Sure, Max's brother. Max's right. brother. Let's see. So, uh, it looks a little weird because I haven't fully colored it in yet, but I got most of the blue. Ooh, that looks awesome. Wait, what is coming out of that treasure chest? It's like a sea monster. It's creepy. 
But uh, there's like this main war right there, and he's like trying to attack the sea monster because. Uh, like the sea monster is trying to protect the treasure, but he doesn't know that the man of war is just trying to like pass by. Whoa, I love it. It looks like this like suit that's like climbing out. I feel like it's like a shadow suit coming out. The sea creature thing. It's creepy. If I really saw that, I would probably scream. <laughs> but I'd be underwater, so I couldn't scream. <laughs> I like it. You guys make really funny drawings. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Um, uh, so is there, okay, last call, last, okay, I see a couple more hands, maybe Beatrice and then Kate. Beatrice, let's see. So this is a different one. So I made a little thing called this is a museum, and this is a mermaid, and this is a Mickey Mouse, and this is a mermaid who's trying to come out and get them out. But it's an underground secret place, so you can put all your storage. Ooh. And they think they know when they get in there, but they don't know how to get in there. And then this one flag because one's upside down. Okay. And they say, Yay! <laughs> I like the line of jewels that's coming down out of the out of it. <laughs> very very pretty. Very nice drawing. Very nice details. Um, Kate, did you wanna do a last last share? Okay, real quick. So I'm still coloring in. I haven't finished yet. Ooh, nice Sharpie. I like that you made it bold. Oh, very cool. Well, are those like gold doubloons are there on the ground? Uh-huh. Nice. And I still, I like that Titanic. Awesome. Keep working on it. And then Ariel's trying to go and find all the money. <laughs> very cool. Nice drawing. Really nice drawing. All right. Okay. I think that that is... Time. Oh my gosh. These drawings came out so cool. Your the backstories behind all these drawings were or almost as good as the drawings themselves. You guys did a great job. Um just as a reminder, tomorrow, Wednesday, 10 o'clock, Mike Funt, if you like clowning, join his class. And then Thursday is sure to be a good one. You can join me. I think we're doing jellyfish, but then you should definitely join uh Ben's class, if you enjoy drawing Scott, because it's Scott Palooza that day. <laughs> can't miss that one. I can't wait. <laughs> I, I'm joining it too. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. Thank Bye. you. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Bye.